Welcome. Today we're talking to England Chi. She is the CEO and co-founder of Datavisor, a leading Silicon Valley-based technology company providing advanced fraud and risk management solutions powered by artificial intelligence. England, welcome and thank you for joining us at Credit Union Digest. It's my great pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. Very good. Thank you. So let's get started. For those that are not familiar with Datavisor, can you briefly explain Datavisor's capabilities? Yes. So Datavisor is the world's leading AI-powered fraud and risk platform that delivers end-to-end -end capabilities to cover a variety of fraud and abuse and money laundering like activities uh, in the industry. So Datavisor offers an open SaaS orchestration platform that supports easy consolidation and enrichment of any data. And our solution scales and enables organizations to act upon those fast evolving fraud and money laundering activity in real time. And uh, we have we are very proud to have a patented unsupervised machine learning technology. And uh, with our leading kind of AI capability combined with our powerful like decision workflow, graph-based investigation tools, they work together to provide very uh, strong kind of performance kind of um, in terms of fraud detection, as well as uh, the protection that the modern organizations today needed in a digital world. Great, great. Thank you. You know, you, you did mention fast moving uh, in the fraud and, and I, I can relate to that. So how is AI and machine learning utilized in fraud prevention? Yes, for fraud kind of, um, uh, and also we, we see kind of all these um, attackers, malicious activities, there's one distinct, like unique difference that marks it different from many other industries and similar to cyber um, uh, attacks. This is a area where we are dealing with active adversaries who are constantly evolving and in a such kind of sophisticated world. And we can imagine, like we can see the technology evolves very fast and uh, um, so does attackers as well. And they have access to the same kind of uh, technology we have also today. And therefore, if we take a very static business experience-based approach, which business in the past legacy solutions do, meaning use business logic and a static kind of decision and um, rules and basic kind of logics, it's not going to work very well because attackers are going to really um, evolve extremely fast. So in this environment, take a data-driven approach with artificial intelligence and machine learning to really analyze and um, uh, the patterns and the data and the behaviors of both kind of legitimate customers as well as uh, the uh, abnormal activities, we can then be enhanced to take that more kind of proactive approach to be able to um, reactive or even like proactively defend against these sophisticated like fraud much, much faster and um, in a more also accurate way. Very good, very, thank you, thank you. Very, very good explanation. So uh, for those credit unions that are taking a more cautious approach to implementing real-time payments, can you speak to the specific opportunities for credit unions with FedNow and adopting real-time payments? Yes, real-time payments is a very hot topic this year. And I know a lot of credit unions are taking a very cautious kind of approach to implementing real-time payments. And um, so this is kind of a, a fed now, particularly the uh, real-time kind of instant payment is an option like alternative uh, toward the clearinghouse and TCH, those offerings so that it enables banks and credit unions to offer these real-time payment um, capabilities as well as experience to their members. And we all know in today's in environment, we want to kind of grow our customer base. We want to increase kind of deposit. And therefore the different variety approach, particularly the real-time um, capability for money movement uh, it's becoming importantly more important in particular toward the kind of the younger generations. They're, we are all demanding toward the, the ability to uh, make payment, to make money movement instantly. And uh, um, so I definitely think 
this is a, a trend that uh, uh, is happening is already taking place and uh, for credit unions banks we should take a kind of open mind to start gradually really kind of embracing the trend and whoever is thinking about this early might have a benefit advantage of to attract their members and provide them with better kind of uh, alternative solutions toward the traditional money movement. Great, great. England, thank you very much. And, and let's circle back to fraud now. So how do real-time payments change the fraud landscape? Well, with the real-time payment, that uh, means the fraud is happening in real time too. And when that is happening, that literally means and whenever a transaction is settled in real time, there is a chance a fraud could take the money out instantly that moment too. And uh, um, that could um, have kind of uh, very strong implications to today's kind of fraud fighting kind of um, environment because a lot of uh, the, uh, we talk about legacy kind of money movement is taking place in the batch settle, settlement is by days. So that gives us additional time to scrutinize a lot of the transactions. And I know traditional approaches are being leveraging to say uh, solutions, even with manual review to clear these um, transactions to make sure that uh, a fraudster is not taking advantage of that. But with real time, all these that the traditional approach is not going to work. Literally, we have to make decisions in that uh, uh, sub-second, the millisecond, to be able to decide if we are letting these transactions to go through. And therefore, having a kind of a newer type, next generation or modern kind of infrastructure to be able to make decisions in automation and with the level of accuracy we want, because we don't want to create a lot of real-time frictions to customers. Whenever that happens, that also friction came instantly in comparison to kind of the day settlement. And, then, and the most of our kind of, for example, the members would not have that first level, that uh, kind of uh, uh, friction to understand all these uh, backside kind of examination going on, but with real time, and uh, uh, both kind of the fraud loss can become an issue and the user friction can become a challenge for us to battle against. Mm -hmm. Great, great. Uh, England, thank you so much for spending time with Credit Union Digest today and sharing with us data advisors' capabilities to improve fraud management with AI and machine learning. And that also benefits the credit unions and of course their members. Again, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Great. In closing, thank you for joining Credit Union Digest. If you have additional questions for England, please see the link in her bio.